Good afternoon, everyone. Cross here. Um, I'm doing this final tamer video transition into forest guide. Yes, as you can, as you guys can see, I have left the tamer role. Okay. Um, I I wanted to uh you know give a uh, you know big shout out to uh the people that have been watching my videos and uh, have been uh getting um progress from them all right um just want to say thank you for you guys that uh, been watching the videos and i'm gonna touch base on uh the last few things for tamers and uh we're gonna go into the forest guide setup okay um first and foremost i just want to i just want to go over the last uh gear sets that you want for tamer because uh, a lot of people have been asking me for it so this is it guys uh, I was on the verge of getting um, the arcane set so the arcane set you want to work it you're gonna drop two mines all right remember this so you remember that okay first remember that guys you guys need the 4L set okay the 4L set right here and you want the shades of night which is the divine set but you can if you don't have Legos, keep it on the divine. If you have legendaries, just swap it. Okay, uh, just takes a couple ca ca uh, cast irons. All right. Uh, secondly, you're gonna need um, arcane. I'll show you the arcane set. Um, this is the arcane set right here. Okay, this is the uh, you want three out of three arcane. Okay. Uh, eventually, I didn't get it. I didn't get to complete it yet because I just you know I switched over. But uh, you guys want to uh, eventually get the arcane uh, necklace. You can you, eventually. You guys need to drop two mines. I'm gonna be dropping it soon, uh, and then get that in there with arcane. So it should be an arcane necklace, cape like I have in my uh, warehouse, and either uh, shoes or uh, or uh, the van braces. Okay. And that's pretty much just, uh, and also that's pretty much the main set. And then you need a uh, bloodthirst. If you can, are you if you're able to get bloodthirst, that's the pretty much the four sets you guys need for tamer. Okay, that's all you need. Uh, really focus on your uh, star swiftness. Okay, uh, really work on the crits. Work on getting the crits up. Okay, uh, I'm still working on, the, on this third path here. Uh, really work on it, guys. All right. Um, for the rate rotations, you guys know the rotations. Plenty of uh, I got about two videos on there. Uh, Razor is my favorite rotation for the tamer. All right. Uh, again, keep taming, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my videos. But now it's time for a new uh, journey for 2018 for me as we kickstart it with the forest guide. All right, guys. All right. So. There it is, done with Tamer. All right, we are with the Forest Guide. Okay, um, I've gotten everything to level path uh, path level sixty five. Okay, uh, we're gonna go over a few things right here. Okay, so increased blessed arrow damage forty percent. All right, remember this forty percent increased damage by twenty percent. Remember this. Okay. Uh, reduce shadow murder duration by half while increases the damage frequency. So, which is uh, when they mean uh, shadow murders, uh, I'm pretty sure they mean the shadow crows. Okay. Um, and then per path level, you get you get you get one vitality less than tamer, but it's okay. You make it up in agility and spirit. Okay, you make it up in defense, uh, survivability, and uh, attack. All right. Um. We're gonna focus the right side, which is huge. I think the right side is huge. All right, uh, we have the new. Uh, this is the fourth Pasco. Uh, again, for uh, Animal Tamer, it was Roar. All right, which gives the eight percent crit. Um, but for this case, uh, we're gonna focus on Lunar Glow. All right, Lunar Glow, which is really cool, is. Um, it says uh, it pretty much the animation. It sparks uh, pretty much just like a little lightning hits the target, and then just damages it, stuns it for about a second. Okay, so that's your uh, path, uh, your path skill that you get for going forest guide. All right. Second thing, when you use moonlight, 
you increase your self agility by 97.5 percent. That is a lot. Uh, when you start this path, I'm pretty sure it's, it's not that high, but when you upgrade it up to 65, this is what you end up with. All right, agility itself by 97.5 percent. Okay, agility gives uh, damage. Okay, you roll it on your you roll it on your gear, and you, and you your tune has base agility as well. Okay. Um, you also boost your uh, ally agility by almost 50%, 48.75%, and your mystiques by almost uh, 40, point, almost 50% as well, so 48.75. Okay, guys, uh, this is really good. Uh, combine that with the support path of a tamer, which is the roar, which gives the 8%. When you guys get the um, when you guys get the Beastmaster set, uh, you get the 8% crit, which is awesome. Okay, uh, for me, I just joined this path, so I'm. There's a lot. Of, I'm not gonna go over sets for this video because I'm kind of incomplete. But I can just show you how much. That I'll show you how much damage I'm doing just just by you know getting the uh, rotation. Now, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the wicked rotation. For now, I'm just gonna show you guys the five skill. Okay, just the five skill. I'm not using the ten skill yet. Still on the development, on the development. I uh, will be dropping out down um, more videos for you guys. Okay, so uh, let's get back to the uh, path. Okay, okay. Um, when casting moonlight, grant forty-two percent chance to trigger a two-stage moonlight. I'll show you what that is when I show you uh, the uh, rotation. Okay, it's gonna be a green circle. I'll call it out when you see it, and I'm gonna press it. And I'm gonna show you. It's just gonna initiate another moonlight. So which so th which means this effect here can happen twice, which is awesome. Okay, is what you guys want. If this happens a lot, this is gonna happen a lot more damage, more uh, more output, more damage output. Okay, let's head over to the left side. I'm sure you guys are uh, casting um, biting rain, which is what I use. Uh, you notice how it's in my uh, rotation. This is what I use. Uh, uh, this is really going to up your DPS, especially if you have a really uh, well um, upgraded Blessed Arrow and your mechanics are really solid behind it and it works well because of the Four Divine. <clears throat> so this is it. Uh, casting Buying Arrow uh, targets with Dark Riven, which means if you crow them, uh, all sets affect refreshing the cooldown of Blessed Arrow by 1.5. All right. Let me get, tell you guys something. By 1.5, this brings back blessed arrow, brings it back up instantly. That means it's ready to use, and not none, and not even that. So now you got two things. You are restoring your blessed arrow. You got crows, and you got the biting rain. Okay, so we all know what the three out of, three out of four divine sets uh, uh, does. If you guys don't know that by now. Watch the other videos. Okay, don't want to go over that. Don't want to talk too much. Okay, um, so this is huge. This is this is like your this is your DPS right here, okay? With the along with the right side. Um, this is a little eclipse, little 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 buff to uh, moonlight when you cast it. So this thing right here. So when you cast it, this it just creates a little passive burn, extra DPS, extra damage. Okay, nothing too big about that one. This one, <coughs> casting back. batting rain grants thirty two point five percent chance to reset the cooldown on, on uh, moonlight. So, when you cast Biting Rain, you have a chance of re instantly resetting this, the Moonlight. So, which is good. So, so it's not, it's not, it's kind of like consolidated of 32 points. It's not that bad because when, if you think about Crows, we have these two bad ones here, uh, Wolves and things. So, they pretty much combined it really, uh, really well balanced. I think just, just between, if I were to compare both, uh, both of these, uh, uh, path right here. I think um, Tame is more of a support. This one is kind of a support, but still, you know, laying that hammer, laying that smackdown. All right. Um, so right now, I'm gonna show you guys the rune upgrades because I had to reset it. Now, notice that I'm left over with a bunch of blood essences and a lot of leftover. Um, runes okay um so let's get right into it real quick so what i have uh, here right now since i'm only using five skills i don't want to you know spend uh, careless here now i i will work towards most of this most of these extra runes will be spent 
but I'll do that for another video. But right now, I just want to show you guys the the five core skills, okay? So how I base my rune uh, around it. In my Tamer videos, I know you guys watched it. You want to base your runes on how you want to use your skills, right? So get that damage up. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. Uh, we're still going to keep the magic arrow. Magic arrows, keep that to 40, just like my other videos. Um, this is just uh, extra stats. So let's go into here. I haven't touched Relentless yet. No points in it yet for now. Uh, uh, for blessed, this is the uh, rune upgrade for blessed arrow. I got it to 57. Keep this at 20. Okay. Um, we got we got crows to 40. Okay. Crows cool down to 30. No need to get to 40. You got the divine uh, giving you that bonus. So just get to 20 or 30. It's up to you. I would put it to 30. And the uh, divine will work, work its rest for the cooldown. Okay. Uh, wolves, nothing in it yet. You know, just using five skills. I had it in my old videos, but in this one, nothing in it yet, guys. All right, save your uh, save your bloods for that. Okay. Um, rally cry. We're still using rally cry because of the blessed arrow and the auto. Get that up as high as you can for mutter. So get that up as high as you can. I'll be working on it going forward. Um, get whisper up to forty. Okay. Full moon. Uh, one. Nothing. You don't really need about worry about that. Speed movement. Because you got the roll. Get your roll to 40 so you can uh, tar uh, tackle your leaders, okay? Your elemental leaders. Get that done, okay? Real quick. Uh, we got nothing in Razor Wind because I'm not so, I'm pretty, uh, I'm iffy about Razor Wind right now into this rotation. I haven't tested it out yet. There will be a second video again, all right? Um, this right here. Um, this path right here, Star Cloak. This is the PvP side of Forest Guide. Haven't experimented with it yet. I will drop a PvP uh, video in the future once I lean more towards the PvP. But right now we're just focus on PvE. But I will go over over it for you real quick. So um, basically, Tempest Shot and Biting Rain, they both do the same thing. They give you this Star Cloak status that amplifies the damage of Relentless. All right. So when you use either Tempest Shot or Biting Rain, we'll go over one of them, you have X amount of percentage to uh, give you the chance to enter the Star Cloak mode that makes Relentless target four targets, all right? Pretty simple, very straightforward, okay? Uh, going over to the last one here, just want to focus on uh, damage, get the uh, Biting Rain up to 20%, okay? Because it's going to your rotation again, all right? So we want to make sure you guys cover the normal, all right? This is the main uh, thing here. Um, Blessed, runes for your blessed, runes for your crows, runes for your rally cry, and runes for your uh, biting rain, and then all the every, everything else is util utilities, all right? So rewatch my video, uh, rewatch the video if you guys want more information if I'm going too fast, okay? So rewatch it, okay? Um, as, per, uh, as for sets, um, I got, I got like nothing, really, just probably the four, uh, the three out of four divine which works into this and maybe the two mines but other than that I just got the L set in there but I'm still gonna show you guys the rotation okay so we're gonna go in here uh, we're gonna reset this damage thing here okay let's just uh, fly out of here Let's fly back and then reset the dummy. Okay, guys. Uh, keep a uh, so again. We got the dummy here. Okay, so uh, what I want you guys to keep an eye out for right now is the reset, the bonus. Uh, once so. What I want to show, keep you, what I want to show you guys is that when you use the uh, the uh, lunar here, it's gonna give you a bonus chance to use it again. Okay, and then keep an eye out when you use biting rain to cool down on it. So you got pretty much three chances, like about two, yeah, two chances to buff your team. All right. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna show you guys the rotation. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go rally cry. 
right into uh, Lunar, Crows, Bless, and then repeat AA a bit, and I'll show you guys the damage, okay? So, here we go. AA a bit. Now, you're going to see that when you use Biting Rain, sometimes, it's going to reset the... You see that? It automatically reset my... Look at that, like, Bless Arrow is like almost always up. And then here he is, we got the bonus Lunar. We're gonna press it again. Does it again. By adding Rain resets, let's watch the Blessed Arrow. It's probably gonna pop back up. Wait, no, not yet. I'll keep you guys, I'll let you guys know when it happens. Nice, we got the bonus one again, just wait a bit. Press it, boom. Boom. Biting rain. Watch the blessed arrow. Keep an eye on it. Boom. See that? And boom. And this is it, guys. Repeat. You're going to get a lot of... And I don't even have the right sets. And I'm getting a decent amount of DPS out of this rotation. There's a lot going on. Always keep your eye Keep your eye out on the bonus, on the bonus skill, okay? Oh. Alright, my blessed everything go off. It almost looks like it's almost instantly resetting. It's weird. It's a little bug, I don't know. I think it's just my mouse. You guys go like we're we're I'm not even like fully properly geared and I'm doing about 17k DPS all right oh uh, so this is the first official forest guide of 2018 for me guys hope you guys enjoyed it uh, comment below uh, again going forward I will be releasing a second video on the gear sets and PvP skills all right guys all right so uh, hopefully everyone has a good 2018 so far see you guys soon Press up.